And I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. So as this guy makes the walk, there's just something terrifying about guys with crazy hand speed. This guy certainly has it. Good fighters certainly know that at times they can beat speed with timing and precision, but in terms of those first exchanges, you got to get a guy's timing down. And when it comes to this guy, that is easier said than done. This guy has incredible stamina and ridiculous cardio. If his opponent can't slow him down, he is not going to be able to keep up with him. Fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 27. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get... Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan. And now, the opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a full laser singer of Brazil, the destroyer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? You ready? Oh, all right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point. And he eats a right hand there. Ooh, blocks the shot. And he connects there. Just misses with the left hook. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Well, missed on that one. That one hurt. Nice one-two combination. Oh, big Huge right hand! Oh, he hurt him. Bad. Bad. The left hook hits home. And there he swung with the haymaker. Oh! oh! He's got him hurt here. Big shots! Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Look how light he is on his feet, too. Oh, straight right! Oh, big overhand! He just misses there with the left. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, Superman punch, Joe! Right hand. Oh! oh! He's getting hit! And dizzy as 
he looks to improve position here. Oh, big left. Oh! Big straight punch. KO just as the round was ending. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. Referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight. That is a crazy, crazy knockout just at the end of the round. Let's take a look at that again. Here we see it again. Boom! And he's out. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by so just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the...